This is the annual Which Way Touch Football competition. Uh, this year we're here at the Everton Park State High School and we've got 14 uh, indigenous youth teams competing for the uh, Which Way Trophy. We're looking to try and uh, boost, uh, bolster the relationship between indigenous youth and Queensland Police Service in a non-confrontational sporting environment. Have fun, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's good that it incorporates young, younger generations. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's good to learn. And how do you feel about playing with the boys today? Oh, I'm pretty nervous. Yeah. 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 I'm like, I just don't want to get smashed though. So. I just don't want them to hug the ball. <laughs> yeah. This touch footy carnival aims to foster close relationships between Indigenous youth and police. It is important for police to bridge the gap, and this carnival provides an excellent opportunity for contact in a non-confrontational environment. I think sport's an incredible vehicle uh, to bring people closer together. We're also fortunate to welcome for the first time in the Carnival's history students from uh, QUT, School of Exercise and Nutrition Sciences. It's really good exposure in terms of being able to uh, engage with students and understand what it is actually involved in organising events. Finally, in opening the competition, I wish all the competitors the best of luck and hope you enjoy today's events. Thank you. And may the best team win. Well, congratulations to the Bray Park State High School for winning this year's Which Way? Indigenous Touch Footy Carnival that was held this year at uh, Evelyn Park State High School. It was great for the police to be part of the event and it was great to see so many of my officers there. I hear it was a very, very uh, hard fought grand final and congratulations to the winners. We look forward to being part of the event next year.